Sectional View In this video, we're going to learn how to draw sectional orthographic views of a given object. If you've ever found it challenging to visualize and draw sectional views, don't worry. This video series will guide you step by step to master this skill with ease. A sectional view in engineering drawing is a technique used to reveal the internal details of an object by cutting through it. Imagine you have a toy or a solid object, and you slice it in half. Now, instead of just seeing the outside, you can observe the inside, the construction, any holes, cavities, or hidden features. This is exactly what a sectional view illustrates in technical drawings. Why are sectional views important? Reveals hidden details. In regular drawings, some parts of an object may be concealed. By cutting through the object and illustrating its interior, we can clearly show hidden features like internal holes, slots, or complex shapes. Improved understanding. Sectional views help in visualizing how different components fit together. Without them, important details that affect the design or manufacturing of a part might be overlooked. Avoids clutter. If we try to show both the external and internal features in a regular drawing, it can become too confusing. Sectional views simplify this by focusing on the important internal details. In short, a sectional view is like an X-ray of an object. It reveals the hidden aspects, making it easier to understand and construct the part. We'll begin by learning how to draw the sectional orthographic view using a simple object. After that, we'll cover various objects to deepen our understanding. Now, let's consider this object. When drawing its orthographic views, we typically show different perspective, such as the front view, side view, and top view. However, for sectional views, we imagine a plane cutting through the object. This cutting plane can be horizontal, vertical, or inclined, and it can pass through the object at any point. As engineers, we need to be able to visualize these cuts and draw the hidden features that become visible when the plane slices through the object. Typically, the cutting plane is indicated with a thick dashed line, known as the cutting plane line or section plane line. At the ends of this line, arrows are shown. These arrows indicate the direction of the view, showing where the cut is made and from which direction you're looking at the object after it's sliced. Drawing this sectional view is very simple. In this video, we'll focus on how the sectional view is drawn, and in the next video, we'll go over the key points to remember when drawing sectional views of different objects. In this video series, we'll take a deep dive into sectional views, breaking down every detail step by step. To access the complete series, enroll in my Master Engineering Drawing with Animation course. You can find the link in the description or head over to adtwstudy.com. With a one-time purchase, you'll get lifetime access to the course with regular video updates. This course is designed to be the ultimate all-in-one solution for mastering engineering drawing. Join now at the current lowest price as it may go up in the future.